Okay, so Crystal Quest is a new game and it's in beta. Uh, doing the beta tester badge. I don't know how long you have until it ends, but finishing the beta test for this game will give you a free UGC, a free hat to earn. Um, before we start anything, this game I think has it's pretty fun. I think it has decent potential to be fun. So only to do the tutorial. So I'll show you guys what you need to do. So first things first, you want to go to training Momo here and you want to hover your mouse to over the green ones and the blue ones that give you bonus points. And the more you do in a row, uh, you get a better streak. So hitting the red ones is not what you want to do, but hit the green ones and the blue ones to do more damage and then blah, blah, blah. So hit the X once you're finished. And then once you go ahead and uh, fight this uh, Pogo here. So do what you did in the training and just hit all the green ones. And once you have 700 points, you get the geode for it. Let me go ahead and speed up the video here. All right, so defeat the Pogo, pick up the geode. And then once you do that, you want to head over to the shrine. And then the shrine will let you hatch the geode. So you go to geode. Pop it in, and then you can skip it with your currency you get. You get all of those, so it's not really that it's very cheap. Then you get your Pogo. Then you go to inventory on the right side there, and you want to drag the Pogo into your inventory. And now you have them equipped, you know, pick up these energy crystals. Right now, the tutorial is three, and you can see on the bottom there, your compass. Your compass is your best friend for finding all these crystals, so you can find all 12 later in the uh, for the quest here. So just go ahead and pick these up real quick. The first three is pretty easy to find, but I mean, the compass tells you exactly <laughs> where they are. So no big deal there. You pick up all three, head back to the shrine. And now it wants you to go ahead and uh, fight the boss here, the singular Pogo. So this lets you, once you defeat the Pogo and upgrade your Pogo as well, uh, once you beat this guy, you go to the next area. So there's like bosses in one area, then you beat the boss, blah, blah. So there's, there's no failure to these. You just got to just be patient and just hit everything you can hit. And, you know, just be a, a god gamer, I guess. I think this is a pretty cool idea. I'm sure it exists already somewhere else, not on Roblox. But I think the game looks good and everything else is nice. So once you beat the Pogo, you want to go up the uh, this, uh, path up here slanted path and then you can unlock the first area the crossroads the only area right now in the beta then they want you to pick up all the crystals in the area so you have 12 0 to 12 on the bottom of your screen you can see exactly where you have to go for those ones so i picked up the first one as you would normally see this one over here and then there is this like cave and the crossroads this little sign here and behind here is like one in the middle here uh, I didn't do this in order, but there will be an order I do later. But these three, the first three I pick up in the beginning is just random. So for example, like we're just going back to the first ones you picked up for the tutorial. So this one up here, this crystal, and then the other one is just across the map, which is the one we picked up at the beginning. So move the rest is not like nothing too complicated. Like I said, the, the, the compass at the bottom shows you exactly where you need to go for each and every single one of them, pretty much. So I'm not sure if you need to do this, but there's a crusho. You can get this guy at the, before this green rock and then defeat him, get the geode for him, and you can go and hatch it. And then you can have the power to break the rocks. But I'm not sure if you needed that because there's a path here next to the crushos. You can use it and go to this new area. I guess you do need it. So yeah, you do need it. Never mind. I forgot the crystals in there. So yes, you do need to get through the crusho and then go back to the shrine and then hatch it, whatever. And then there's this new area over here, I think. Uh, and just super crystals pick up along the area here. So I'll go back to my Pogo, to the jump height. So we go over here and we just do some jumping puzzles now with the Pogo equipped and just go for the crystals in this area. And I only need the, well, we need the crush for that one crystal down there, but uh, this area requires this jump from the top, anyways. But here's like all of them over here, pretty much. Just follow the compass as best as you can. Rotate 360, look around. This one is gonna be in the water. I have trouble getting out of the water, but I just you can just reset your character to make this go faster. So I reset my character. That could spawn. And there's one above spawn here. 
and there's one just up there. I think there's more than 12, but I don't know. Something like that. Even though this is one at 12 or 12, I don't know. I thought I saw one back there, but I guess you can't pick that one up. Was, yeah, okay, there is more than 12, yes. So you don't need Crusher, but there is more than 12, technically. I just saw it on screen. There's one in the back right corner at the very top over there, and it just disappeared when I picked up this one. I saw it. So you don't need the Crusher, but the Crusher one, you can get it if you want to. Anyways, then after that, head back to the shrine, and you mostly will destroy or defeat the uh, singular crusher which is the bot the boss in crossroads so uh it's just in just a, it's just a longer battle seven thousand points or whatever so you know go ahead and head to the right here and other people will be doing it if they're on the same quest as you so it does help a little bit i went ahead and just upgrade my poggle just do more damage a little bit um so it's pretty much i don't know actually i don't know i don't know what upgrade even does i don't even know but anyways so this guy was doing it as well so i just we both make progress to it. So if people are doing it a little bit faster, but I mean, you can't really fail these, I'm pretty sure. So just finish, once you finish this part, then the beta is over, you get the, the badge and you get the hat. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. A little bit short, or not short, I mean, it's a pretty cool game. Like I've said three times already, I do recommend, I don't know, see if there's more UGCs in the future. There is two on sale that you can buy for Robux, but right now only one is free. And who knows if they're going to have more. It's not really a sponsored game, is it? I don't know if it is. I don't know. But there we go. There's a badge. And then a little cutscene here to show you guys what to expect. Uh, the future of this game. But yeah, I think the game looks good. I said it the fourth time already. And yeah. That's pretty much it. That's the prize. And there's the badge. There you go. Enjoy.